week 97 of the 27 inch challenge this week is bad and bef but before that i'm going to show you what happened this week okay so uh, yeah we got on a good family time loved one time yeah, it's, it's again it's 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 you know uh, gourmet buffets for from now on this is how we bond as family Okay, so yeah, as you can see, the place is beautiful. It's relaxing. It's it's amazing, you know. So it's good. It's good to have, you know, this this days when you're busy and, and work is all over the place, and you also have this kind of kinds of blessing, you know, and the knowledge of really not panicking and you're not gonna get fat if you are aware of your nutrition is a big thing so yeah just kind of enjoy this week so what happened okay waist still the same 28 inches i'm maintaining now so what happened i got a weird feeling on my you know my as you can see i'm injured on on i fell right from before you know i fell from the first floor for building and then what happened is i injured my my right rear delt now i injured my it's not an injury it, i i i had a pinch i have now a pinch nerve on my left lat it's weird but it's it's painful okay doing that pull up last week after doing that pull up and we, we had the typhoon here in the philippines the 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 lat is just acting up and and it's painful sharp pain you know it's nerve pain because it's it's really going the pain is going all over the place up on my spine so i know it's it's pinched nerve and what i did first is i i foam rolled it i i used the foam roll here i used the tennis ball baseball again but it didn't work so i'm i'm doing now the cold compress Okay, so again, food is the amazing. Only shrimp, only pork, only lasagna, ice creams, cakes, cheesecakes, sushi, uh, salmon, sashimi. It's amazing. So you'll not see any training footage here this week because all week I didn't train. Okay, so I have this this frustration and, and it's disappointing because my horizontal face will be <laughs> will not be good will not be progressing that much because i got this setback you know so i'm just i'm just processing it and thinking about it i'm, I'm still thankful because you know i still have this kinds of blessing and and you see the grace of god in my life and you know you appreciate things you know even the setbacks so yeah for example this this family day it's a triple birthday celebration so yeah you see you kind of see the big picture when you see your your you know your, your loved ones you know they age and you also age and when you look back you see really the blessings you have so i kind of see this injury as a blessing now or kind of a setup for me on learning my tendencies my body and when i googled this injury it says that it's more of overwork but when I compute my volume, it's not really overwork. Actually, it's underwork, and I, I'm not. It, it's weird. I'm not doing weighted pull-ups. I'm just wait. I'm just doing, you know, light rows and light, light for me, light body weight, half body weight 
pull-ups and my lats got nuts still go nuts so i don't know if i'm i hope this injury will be healed by next week so i can train as you can see this is the typhoon it cut off our electricity our our you know source of water so i can't really train you know how can you train if you don't have water how can you wash yourself after so these are the foods the leftovers from the birthdays so it's amazing it's good so we have no power here when you see the it, it's only candles and, and prayers now in every situation we have to think right right correct so what i'm thinking right now is the whole principle of if you can't fly then run if you can't run then walk if you can't walk then crawl and i'm applying that principle here in my in my if i can't train do mobility work if i can't do mobility work i sit if it's too painful and if you can't train also you double down on getting your the level of nutrition or your calories right okay so yeah it's it's everything you do to progress okay small things and yes it's it will not yield to to the desire we want the the, the result of the physique we want because you're not really changing but inside your mind it is you have this this mindset of, of progress and when you are healed you are better <laughs> you're better next time when things like this come okay when you're trying to get as strong as you can if you think about it injuries will be will be there okay i'm not gonna say it's normal but it will be there if you're an athlete injuries is part of the plan or or you minimize it okay not part of the plan it's it's expected okay it's not part of the plan it's expected and what's good about this is i have more time on you know spending time with the loved ones okay so it's it's still balanced you know and i'm still getting my walks in even though it's raining i'm, I'm walking I'm reading my Bible app. I'm walking at home. And some of you, my clients, feel the inflation. You know, gas prices go up. I also feel that. And it's kind of frustrating. It's kind of disappointing. Kind of depressing. So, and you, you have to work hard and hard, hard just to, to fight this. And, you know... It's it's the the whole Bible verse I, I I'm holding on to is that what what God's what what Habakkuk say, what God says to the prophet Habakkuk the righteous shall live by faith okay so this um, what hap what's ha everything is happening to you is allowed by God and you have to have you have to put your trust in everything you do on him okay so bad things happen this week is not good and yeah as you can see we have <laughs> we are having a lot of you know um, disappointments heartaches and but it's still happy inside you're still joyful so yeah you, you only see food in this vlog and it's this is just 10 minutes we are going to wrap up lots of food you know it's still it, this flexible dieting is still amazing still amazes me and what i'm doing now is you know you, when you appreciate things i noticed that there are a lot of papayas in our farm you know my my grandpa's farm and i, I just decided it's free why not make this my main source of fiber it's just a bit of work you're just going to peel it and then chop it and you saute it and it, that's it you have fiber for the day and you're you save money okay you, you all know this when you eat out 
okay? You're, you're not gonna save money always if you always eat out. Okay, so that's for this week. It's short, but I hope you learned something and it's kind of a bad week, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fight. See you next week.